Today, I'll show you how to cut and fade audio in DaVinci Resolve. Please. Just leave. I'll be sharing a lot of tips and tricks throughout this whole video, so make sure you watch to the end. Okay, so we're in DaVinci Resolve and we need media first. So all these icons on the bottom of the screen represent the color, the sound, export settings. What we need is this icon right here. This is your edit window. And you see here, it says no clips in media pool. So there's various ways to actually add that media. You can click your video and just drag it right in here. And I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm in my edit window and I'm gonna click this and drag it down here. And I can scroll up and down the timeline, zooming in and out through here. And you can see the waveform of the audio. Now, how I want to trim some stuff, you wanna go into the blade edit mode. If you have multiple edit clips, you don't have to worry about this. But for the purposes of how I'm doing it here, I'm just doing one long timeline. So you see with the blade, I just made cuts, made edits. But before we move on, I just want to remind you guys that we are posting at least one new tutorial every single week. So if you want to continue to become a better video editor, learn more tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment, letting us know what you want to learn next. Back to the video. You see how I'm scrolling and this little icon came up. If I click that and drag it to the left, you'll see this grayed out section here. So now this audio will slowly fade out. And you can do the same thing for the start of the clip. And I'm just dragging to the upper left portion of the clip and just dragging it like that. And now the audio is going to fade up. And another great tool if you want to be more in depth with your audio is this music icon. And now you'll see I'm just dealing with only the audio here. And you see this line right here? I can click and drag it up and down to make it louder or softer. If you hit your alt key on your PC or if you're on Mac, the icon key, you will create keyframes. So say you have some dialogue and want to adjust individual levels. If I click and make a keyframe, you see that dot. You can drag these keyframes up or down specifically at where you want the music to be higher and lower and the audio will follow the change over time. So you see this right here is pretty high. It's starting to get distorted, but you can play around with these keyframes here. Again, that is the left alt key and I'm holding it. I see that plus icon and now I'm making individual marks and I'm clicking and dragging up or down to change the volume. And the last thing you can do with audio is crossfade between clips. I'm gonna hit the B key for blade and make a bunch of separate clips here so I can show you this example. And then I'm gonna hit the A key to get back to my normal selection. In these two clips here, if I want to crossfade between the two, I'm gonna hover my icon here and you see the way it changes, I'm going to right click. And this gives you a crossfade. I'm just gonna do 48 frames. And it's okay because you can always change the duration of it. So I just scroll and zoom in and then you can see this icon here that's above that I'm selecting. This is your audio effect, your crossfade. And you can click and drag it up or down to the length of the crossfade that you want. But that wraps up this effect. And if you made it this far, make sure to subscribe. Don't forget to check out Mirror Camp and join our online school for more. Thank you.